Good day guys, Jilly Cube, um, Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia, coming to you with another pour today. I'm going to do a pour on the diagonal. Um, let's see how we, oh, just sorry, just changing the camera. Um, yeah, I'm going to do a pour on the on the diagonal today, and I'm using the um, Montmartre Studio Acrylics with the uh, pouring medium of the clear PVA. My pouring medium is a drop down box underneath this video and I put a description to you of the pouring medium and the recipe I use and how I add it to my paint and all things related. Also I add the uh, Helmar silica. So this is the gold that I am using today to do this diagonal swipe so they usually give a really fantastic effect so doing the pause on the diagonal so please give it a go give it a try and um, if you'd like me to see your work we now have a um, Australian acrylic pouring art group if anybody at any country is absolutely free to join us so yeah, please pop on over. Yeah, they're all, I like to mix up all my colors at least 24 hours before. So these were all mixed up, um, well, some of them a couple of days now because I just mix a great big pile of paints and keep pouring. This is the Viridian. Uh, so Montmartre's come out with some new colors. So they're all, well, the new colors for Australia, I'm not sure if they're new worldwide. Uh, but they're quite delicious and I've been having so much fun playing with paint and I hope you do too. So I just thought, let's see what this all looks like with mostly in between the gold. So, so, actually going to put a bit of the, I have a little bit of the burnt sienna, so I'm going to put it over this side here. We'll mix, obviously, some other colours in it, but just I know that the paints always react differently with um, metallics it doesn't actually say on the bottle that it uh, the gold and silver are metallic but they certainly are because they've got a really nice sheen to them so I've just got this last bit of aqua aqua left so I'm gonna pop that in there too on this side so this will be fun what I end up actually colour I end up swiping with with this because I might have to do two swipe colours but you cover all the any swipe lines up you can certainly cover up with a balloon oh wowzers so two completely different um, looks there where will I go now um, what do I want to add to this I might add some chocolate so this, this is actually the burnt um, umber, but I, this is the burnt umber, but I've added a blob of black in it because I like it to go real dark. I'm not sure if I should save that to actually swipe with. Let me think, I'll put some white in here. Put some white over this side. Oh, I've had some fun with these paints this week. I'll tell you, some really um, great fun. Fun, fun, fun. Okay, I'm going to go with the gorgeous orange. I do add, this is the orange from the Montmartre, and I just put a big squirt of, of the bright yellow in it too. It just lifts the colour up so much. So don't be scared of your colours. Don't be, oh my goodness, I can't possibly do that. Just try it. You know, what have you got to lose? It's only paint. It's only paint. And yeah, you, you may have to scrape it off if you really think it is that bad. But ultimately, um, you're mixing this paint with a pouring medium. So there's very little paint you're using up. It's more the glue and water, um, which isn't too expensive, thankfully, if you buy the products that I'm using because I don't use expensive products I 
poor on a budget so and I know that lots of you guys would be doing that too should I add some orange in with that side too because orange and the teals and turquoises always looks nice so I might go and do it what it what do I say there's, there's the only rule in my art room is there's no rule so got nobody here telling me not to do it I know that lots of you have said I was screaming at you not to do that and I went and did it anyway but there you go I am going to going to 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 throw some of the really nice the new red I can't remember what the oh it's a uh, I've thrown away my six what I said I wouldn't do it's it's a cool red anyway <laughs> Okay, I'm going to put a little bit in there. Oh no, this side, not that side. This side. Gosh, this is really pushing the boundaries now. Oh, but there's no boundaries. Only in your own head. Only in your own head. So just go for it. I think I want a dark colour over that and a light colour swipe over that. So have a think about that. I'm going to give it a gentle tilt, which is a little bit more difficult when you've got it on the diagonal because you're, yeah, tilting. Yeah, here it goes. This side is a lot, the paint consistency is a lot runnier than this side's a lot thicker. You can just see that it's, you know, the race is being won by uh, the orange and greens, not the orange and reds. <laughs> Wow, we completely different. I think I've done one like this before. I've certainly done a, a diagonal swipe, but I haven't sort of played so much with how I'm playing with this right now. Doing the completely off colors both sides. You may like it, you may hate it, but you know, my art room my rules and your art room your rules so give it a go don't be frightened of anything it's only paint so oh, i'm going to tilt that back now because i want to try and keep the definite demarcation line it's going to be a little bit difficult because that's gone over there but we'll just see how it turns up with the paint that you've run off just finger pop the sides with the paint. Finger pop in. Um, I don't care if I get a bit of red on that side either. That's all good. You can edit your edges and do your fiddle about with your edges afterwards. There's plenty of paint that you've got as runoff to um, play with. So now it comes. What do I swipe? Do I keep the white that side? Or do I go real dark like the chocolate? Should I try the chocolate? I'm going to try the chocolate down this side, you know. I might just do a little bit here. This is that dark chocolate. If it doesn't work out, I will... Um, try something different but I'll just uh, and I'll go back over that so I'm not particularly worried so this is my Swifty Swipe it's a homemade on a spatula with soft plastic file divider just cut into any shape I've got different sizes I've got a mini one I've got a rounded edge but they're great because you've got a little bit more control of them and with the soft plastic oh wowzers I like it. See how that gold's going there. Like, almost gives like the flow troll effect when it laces. I think I'm going to go with dark and mysterious on this side. I will keep going with it. Try not to pour actually too much of the brown. So it's a very thin line. Don't need very much at all to make a huge difference as you can see there. So, swifty swiping on the diagonal. 
Don't want to worry about any areas that you may miss because you can just go back over them. If you go over and wipe your Swifty Swipe in between, Oop. Oops a days. Oops a days. Oh. Doing a lot of these. Oh, oh. Okay. I'm not sure if maybe the even the other side would benefit from the um, chocolatey swipe. I'm thinking that it might. I may try it, I'll turn it around and we'll try. Let me just see what the wand brings up on this side. It's just a heat wand, it doesn't blow your paint anywhere, it just heats it slowly to get rid of heat bubbles and it helps to bring up your cells if you've got silicon under there or even if you've got flow troll. I don't use flow troll too often except when I'm trying to create a lacy effect. I actually think that the brown will go really beautiful on that greeny emerald side so we just give it a go. You have nothing to lose but a bit of paint so don't freak out about it. Just go for it, enjoy, enjoy the experimentation, enjoy the process. That's what it's about more than anything. Don't put any pressure on yourself that you've got to sell your pieces or, because if you don't put the pressure on yourself, you can bet people will want your pieces. Okay, I'm gonna try this brown. I've got plenty on there by the look, so. See how small amount of brown I did put on there but how it's still carrying across the whole of the canvas. You hear the rain here? It is torrential. Wow. Oh, that's really, I didn't expect it to be that dark, but anyway, we'll fix that up. Not a problem. Go with the flow, Joe. Okay. It's a bit dark and mysterious in this one. But we'll fiddle with it. This is a true um, diagonal reflection swipe. Let's see what we can bring up in this colours but remembering that was only a little dribble of that brown across the, the uh, diagonal but look what it's creating. We're getting some quite big cells coming up because the whole of these mixes that I've made up were quite um, runny than what I normally would make up. If you're doing a flip cup you wouldn't, you would uh, have a thicker mix. Watch the magic happen! Watch the magic happen! They actually look lovely with that brown. They will... It, I like... Talk to you in a minute. Talk to you in a minute. Sorry about that. I'm trying to talk over this noise. Okay. Um, what I like about doing these kind of swipes and why I do so many in different kind of styles and technique is it does leave um, like a negative space effect behind it but as the cells develop or as the painting develops they all kind of close in and then it causes like a brown ring or in this case it's brown because that's what I've swiped with but I just love the effect because every single one, you may do a similar process, but every single one looks different. Now, something that I did show you the other day that I just touch on again was doing the, seem to like it with the, um, it's just with a bamboo skewer 
and it's if you want to do the instead of leaving the cells as they are you can trace through the cells to create other little um, effects oh, my phone sorry about that should have yeah okay so the cells here Tracing through the cells with the skewer, wiping off your school, skewer in between. So like they've got a big thick blobby one there. So this is just another idea beside your ballooning. So instead of ballooning, you can just spend this time because it is quite time consuming, but it's also quite therapeutic. So you're just going through your cells like that. So they're not looking like cells anymore. They can take on all different forms of things and trace them through from one to the other, up and down and around. It's, it's very relaxing to do it. And it gives a whole different look to your painting. So just keep like wiggling, like bringing it through those negative space areas all gorgeous i'm gonna leave you there and i will continue with this fiddling um and let you give this a go and um, please let me see your work we have the uh, australian acrylic pouring group on facebook if you'd like to join us over there and show us some of your work and especially if you've you know been inspired from any of the ideas that I do and there's moderators over there that will help you um, and I want you to help each other with questions or you know if you found something that you can share with one another I want it to be a friendly kind place with like-minded people that enjoy doing what we do so thanks so much for joining me. Thanks for subscribing. I get carried away when I do this, but it completely changes the look of your work other than ballooning it. So I will merrily go away with this for quite a while now. Um, and then I'll put the pictures on of my uh, finished masterpiece at the end. So thanks guys for joining me. Thank you so much. Until next time, bye for now.